Hey there Tenno, this is Shadowsafe, and on today's episode of Locked and Loaded, I'm actually going to be going over my strategies to quickly leveling up gear. And just to actually demonstrate this, I have my Ferox, which I have just formed, Mostly due to the fact that it was in need of it. But anyway, let before I actually jump right into mission, I've got a couple of strategies that I want to point out to you guys. Now, I know a vast majority of the community seems to like to go to a COD to level, and there's other people who prefer to go to Stoffler. Now, typically, I've done a COD. I just don't feel like I'm getting the necessary experience that I need there to actually level efficiently. And that's even with me doing 15, 20 waves with an active affinity booster on top of it being a dark sector. It doesn't work for me. If it works for you, that's great. The two pla There are two particular places that I actually prefer to go to level. If I'm leveling a CC-based Warframe, then typically where I like to go is I do like to do Lua Stoffmark. Because with it being a defense mission, any Warframe with heavy CC is going to benefit massively here because you can use the abilities to their fullest and constantly generate that affinity that you need. However, on the other hand, typically for any weapons or any other Warframe that isn't so big on CC, then I prefer to go to Ophelia for Uranus. Which, this is actually where I'm gonna go. Or not, because there's not a whole lot of people there, and I do not have the skill to survive that on my own. So instead, we will go to Stoffler, because Stoffler works out very well for weapons as well. Plus, Octavia is a decent CC frame, therefore... It'll make it go all that easier. But, like, right off the bat, just getting in here, I've already gotten the level on my Ferox. You've got a Nova present as well, which is going to make this all that much easier. I can't aim for shit, though, as you guys can see. And it looks like I actually got in here towards the end of the wave. Of course. So we are gonna do that. Get some of this going. And see, only wave two already level three. Okay, I know some of this is my doing. Actually, the vast majority of this killing is not my doing. But typically, a lot of people prefer to come to these areas to level up. And for the most part, I prefer... Like I said, I prefer this for my CC frames, and typically I'll go to Ophelia for normally weapons or any other frame. But the other reason as to why I typically prefer going to Ophelia for weapons at least is because Rotation A on Ophelia has a chance to drop 400 endo. So not only are you leveling up your weapons, but you're actually killing two birds with one stone if you manage to get those endo drops. Because then you're just saving yourself from having to farm it in the long run. And typically, if depending on how comfortable you feel, you may want to do a lower level survival, like 
maybe say 10 minutes of Draco and kind of gauge the experience that you're gaining and if it doesn't feel like you're getting enough go ahead and leave and do something higher I tend to do that a lot with weapons especially if I'm trying new stuff out with them just because I don't feel comfortable with it enough right off the bat to go hog wild right into a high level mission and then find out that I'm gonna do absolutely nothing because what I'm doing is completely wrong. I've made that mistake before which is why I'm it, telling you guys to do this now And honestly, whether you choose to take my advice or not is totally up to you. But for those of you that do choose to at least try it, I hope that you find that find my advice worthwhile. And maybe, hopefully it'll even benefit you in the long run. But that's pretty much all I have to talk about today on this episode of Locked and Loaded. Thank you guys for actually taking the time to hear me out on this and if you hit like this video for whatever reason hit that like button and subscribe check out my twitter and my player.me links in the description box below to keep up to date with everything outside of warframe and if you would like to support the channel and its endeavors check me out on patreon link in the description box below and until next time tenno stick to the shadows <laughs>